Hello stampers, this is Jeannie Moss, Bluegrass Stamper. I'm here in Kentucky. And today I wanna show you a mini bendy card. Um, we did this card in a free class on Zoom last week. And I had people who could not attend that wanted to know how the card was made. So I said I would do a quick video to show them how the card was made. So when you mail this card, you'll put it into the envelope flat. And then when your recipient receives it, they'll be able to fold it a little bit and it will actually sit up on a table or uh, and make a nice display. So this is what this one looks like. This one I'm actually giving away today, so I wanted to hurry up and get this video made before this card was gone. This is using the um, seashell, Friends Are Like Seashells bundle from the mini catalog, the January to June 2020 one mini catalog. So I have another sample to show you. Get that out of the way. And this one is using the new butterfly suite. So this one is also going to be mailed out and uh, I wanted to, to let you have an opportunity to see it before I do that. So this is one again with the new butterfly brilliance collection, which I am going to be doing a class with that suite or that collection. And uh, I've already got the stamps and dies ordered for everybody and we'll be doing that in a couple of weeks. So this is another sample. And then the last sample and the one I'm gonna be duplicating today is this one with the chicks, the two chick bundles. So I am gonna be uh, doing this one. I wanted to show you also what I'm going to be using for this card. This is the Hey Chick bundle. This was actually a, um, the Hey Chick stamp set. This was actually a stamp set from Celebration, I don't know, a couple years ago. And it now has dies. So you can, they have brought the stamp set back so you can order the stamp set if you don't have it. But if you do have it, you can just order the dies. And I'm gonna be using the um, chicken coop and the little sign and then I'm going to be using the chick. So I'm going to be using that die. So these are the pieces that I've already cut out for this purpose. So I've got the little chicken coop. That's maybe hard to see on the dark. I've got the sign and I've already stamped my sign. I'm going to be doing this, um, putting those two together. And then here's the chicken. And I've already actually colored the chicken and I used my Stampin' Blends. I used the uh, Mango Melody. I used the Pumpkin Pie. And I used the Cajun Craze. So those were the uh, Stampin' Blends I used to color the chick. So I've already got these pieces all prepared. And then I'm also using from the Hey Birthday Chick. This is in the new mini catalog, the January to June mini catalog and it has dies now to go with it. You won't find the dies in the catalog, but they are available. And the die I'm using from that is going to be this little fence die. So I've already cut some little white fences to use. Put those to the side. So that's what I'm using today. I've also given everybody in, in the group a list of the measurements and the pieces that you'll need to do these cards. And I'm going to put these out here for you, the measurements and the scoring uh, measurements. So I'm gonna put this here and I'm gonna look to see, I think you can see that, okay? Um, so this would be a good time to either pause the video and make whatever notes you want or do a screenshot so that you'll have these measurements. So these are the pieces we'll be using. Now, instead of, well, on the butterfly card and on the seashell card, this piece of DSP, that's the one that is the one and one eighth by five and three eighths. But on my chick card, I didn't use that because instead of using that DSP, I am using the fence. So if you wanted to use something different for that piece, you can. Of course, you can adapt this card any way you want to. But now's a good time to pause the video and take a screenshot of this or um, make your notes. 
Okay, so hopefully you've got all the information that you need. I'm going to use my paper trimmer scorer. I find it really easy to use. And the first piece, this is the, the larger piece. This is the cardstock that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And we're going to score this at two and three quarters. So when you do this, just be careful that you're using your score blade and not your cutting blade because we don't want to cut this piece in half. We just want to uh, score it. Then on the next piece, the two inch by four and a half inch, we're going to score it at a half inch, two and a quarter, and four. So there's a half inch, two and a quarter, which is basically the center, and four. So what it ends up being is a half inch from each end and then right in the center. So we're gonna score that one. And then this last piece, that's the one and a quarter by six and a half, gets scored a half inch from each end. So there's the scoring, and I am finished with the trimmer and score. Put that away. So back to the largest piece. We will be folding that and giving it a nice crease with our bone folder. Then we will take our paper, the largest piece of paper. We're going to fold that in half. and give it a nice score, a nice burnishing. Then this piece is going to be adhered onto the cardstock. So I'm gonna just use my trusty Tombow glue, which may need to be, I guess I need to poke it. Bear with me a second while I get this guy going. He's almost empty which is kind of the way I like him because then I don't get too much glue on everything. I don't know about you, but I can make a mess, make a mess with some glue. So we're just going to line up the score lines and attach this piece. And with the glue, it's forgiving and you can slide things around a little bit. And then we'll fold that and again, burnish it with our bone folder. So there's the outside or the base of our card. The next piece we'll be working with is the two by four and a half and the piece of DSP that's gonna go with that. This will be folded in half just like the other one and burnished. And then we will attach this. We'll also fold these, sorry, burnish these. Burnish your score lines on this piece. Almost forgot that. And then we're gonna glue that piece directly onto the cardstock. Like I said, my glue is almost empty. So I think I'm gonna have to switch to something else. Oh goodness, probably make a mess with this one. So that's basically gonna cover the two center panels. And what we're gonna do with this piece on the front of the flaps, these two flaps, we're gonna put our glue or, or our tape runner, our adhesive, on the front, and then we're going to fold those flaps under. So we'll be folding those under, and we're going to attach this right in the center of our card, and we wanna line up those uh, center score lines. So we're attaching that in the center. You can see our card is starting to come together. 
And then our final piece of cardstock, if you had the DSP, like I had on the butterflies and on the seashells, this is uh, where you would attach it. So you would go ahead and attach it between the two score lines, but I'm not doing that. I'm going to make grass with mine. And I have a pair of scissors that Stampin' Up! used to carry. We no longer carry these, but they cut, will cut grass. Now, I think you can still get these. I think they are for cutting up um, credit cards, old credit cards, or for, for um, a simple way to shred documents. I think you can still buy these at some of the office stores, but all I'm doing is going down the down the line here and cutting some grass. You could also do this with your scissors. Um, I'm, I wouldn't want to take that much time, but you definitely could do that with your scissors. And then you just kind of fluff it a little bit or use your uh, bone folder to give that a little bit of a, that grass some dimension. So there's my piece. And if you were using the DSP, you would just have your DSP attached to this. Now this one, we're going to attach to the back of the card. So we're going to put our adhesive on the back of these flaps. And then what we will do is line that up with the edge of our card at the bottom and adhere that. And then do the same thing on the other end. Line it up with the bottom of your card and adhere that on the back side. So there is my grass. Oops, press that a little bit. I might have to hold that a little bit. So this piece never gets folded because you want it to have that nice curved bend in it. So that's why when we send this card, we will send this card flat. So this actually fits in a flat envelope. So what I will do is take my fence and I will adhere my fence across the front of this strip. So I will be doing this. And then I will be putting my little chicken here. I'll put my sign here and I will put the little chicken coop up here at the top. And so that's how the card goes together. And you can embellish, of course, any way you want, but this is the, the way the chip card's made. So um, I think that's about it. Like I said, you've got the measurements and everything, so you can use whatever you would like to use to make it. And I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I hope you'll make some of these and post them where I can see them. Thanks a bunch. Bye.